Hello Sagittarius, welcome back. Long time no see, I know. Um, the entire month of November, I myself personally was in Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was very busy, backed up, but I am back now. So for those of you that are new, real quick, I don't do date and time specific, okay? This is a general reading. So if it resonates for you, awesome. If it doesn't, check the other signs in your chart. Um, or you can book a personal reading with me. Link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, let's move forward. All right, <clears throat> Oracle card the world for you Sagittarius came up reversed originally um, I don't read reversals all the time especially with Oracle cards but for some reason I got a similar theme after I pre shuffled the bottom of the deck I heard it's not over or something's not over and um, then with the world reversed, I feel like something's not over again. So I decided to honor the reversal this time. So um, there's something that ended for you. And you've had a lot of trouble letting it go. In fact, I feel like you've been through a phase of a lot of internal darkness. There could have been a lot of facing yourself and, you know, your shadow side in this time and it's like something you don't want to be over isn't over. However, this is kind of a toxic thing. Um, with the devil card here. Could be dealing with an earth or a water sign. Have um, the chariot reversed. There's no forward movement. Um, or there hasn't been in the past. Something about this energy hasn't ended yet, though. But again, this is a toxic situation. You guys have a karmic bind to each other that isn't of the most healthy nature. At least that's how it was in the past. It probably would continue to have a same karmic element to it. However, um, I feel like there's this obsessive thinking about someone or something. For those of you that are in a creative field of work, there could be something also that isn't over in regards to that. You may have an opportunity to express yourself create creatively. This would have to do, I, w I would think with words and your ability to be witty they're saying like how witty can you be how fast on your toes are you here um they're really encouraging you to express yourself in this way actually and and, and I think maybe you could have been thinking about this for a while there could have been something that you want to say or maybe something you want to develop and uh, you spend a lot of time laying in bed thinking about this and um, they're definitely encouraging you that it's not, um, that you're not supposed to let it go, that you should keep pursuing it, even though you may have financial problems that, I feel like a lot of Sagittarius right now is, uh, financial constraints are sort of what holds them back from really excelling, or at least how maybe you have viewed yourself in the past. But this is very mental, like everything is, pretty much. Your situation depends on your, your mental here. It's hard to accept. <laughs> it's hard to accept that we hold the power to change everything, to express. You could have a water sign heavy on your mind. Or a water sign could be thinking about you a lot. But just thinking, not speaking. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a water sign. Could be water. Um, I have earth here as well and air, technically. But 
Um, again, going back to financial instability, there could be some, there's going to be a truth revealed about this. There could be something you're wanting that doesn't work out. Or you could feel as if somebody takes an opportunity from you. They took something that was supposed to be your offer. There is... Um, I do encourage you, Sagittarians, to... There's something you could be working on that you need to... That comes only from you. Some of you may be waiting on somebody else to give you an offer, but they're saying that it's you that holds the, you need to just focus very much solely on what you need to do because you are your own key, I guess. You can bring the clarity that you need. This is regards, I would say, more to work, career, um, things that you're studying or trying to conquer type of deal. So yeah, it's not an offer from another person. It's it's you focusing <clears throat> on some sort of creative thing that you're not doing right now. And this is why you do not have victory. Because other people keep taking offers, but it's because you're meant to create your own offer. Yeah. You might start to have lessening anxiety, I would say. There's some sort of thing that you had to walk away from or person. Or maybe somebody walked away from you. It really depends. Regardless, you felt a lot of hurt from it. And I feel like you're still very hung up on this here. You know, we, we see it in the beginning and then we finish with it over here at the end. Um... There's just a specific memory of, of the back of someone's head walking away. And you never saw them again. Could be dealing with water, earth, a lot of water, earth energy. I do feel like the anxiety is lessening, though. You know, it's reversed here. You're dealing with a lot of like personal and like financial stuff. So it keeps your mind fairly busy, you know. But somebody's been holding back from, from trying to reconcile or reunite with you, Sagittarius. Or it could be you, but I feel like it's another person. However, I am kind of sensing... Um, yeah, they're definitely holding back, but I think that they kind of think about it as well. They're the type of person that doesn't really open up that easy. They kind of tend to shell up, you know, and that's definitely what they've done in regards to you. Communication isn't really, you know, they don't communicate evenly because they're very emotional. So they've chose to say nothing to you. In regard because of this reason so but I, I do there could be another person involved that may kind of bring potential to reunite or speak with this individual again in the future perhaps I'm just sensing there's like another key individual that could be a connecting factor so you know this this energy is a little bit melancholy so I feel like you're trying to find your stability and you're working hard. You know. But definitely, you know, if I could say anything, just keep focusing on yourself. Career seems to be, or you know, abundance tangible things I think it's more realistic and let the other stuff work itself out you know accepting this walking away whoever cross watcher or Sagittarius that needs to because accepting it almost might bring it back if that makes sense 
when you let it go, it loosens the energy and opens up for a new potential. The Three of Cups here, it's not reversed, but something's blocking it. There's an energy blocking it. So, yeah. Also, there could be somebody that, there could be somebody that offers you something and they could be an earth or um, an air sign. But there's something not right here. I don't know. I don't trust them. I don't believe them. And I haven't even heard them speak yet. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so just keep an eye out for that. This could be work. This could be anything, really. You know. So you'll just have to keep an eye out for, you know, use your sensi, pay attention, an offer that claims there will be victory, but this is not, there won't be victory in it. Look out for this individual. All right. Well, um, that's what I have for you. A little bit stressful, but it's okay. You're going to power through. You know, when you walk away from something, when you let go of something, then you make room for something else to come around. So, so that's, you know, let's try to keep positive along in, in that line. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap this up positively here. Um, one last thing, you could, there could be somebody around you that's sick. This person, or somebody you know, they may not speak a whole lot in general, or, or I don't know, something about silence, but I, I'm sensing that somebody around you is ill. Or maybe you, maybe you've been suffering with a sickness. I'm thinking like flu type of thing. So if this is you, much rest is needed, which could affect your finances a little bit, but you're gonna need to take care of yourself there, Sagittarius, if it's you. So, all right. All right, well, uh, Charles and I are going to sign off. So good luck, Sagittarius. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.